Hey creator friends, welcome to my channel and here we are. We're going to call this weekend happenings because I know I do Saturday happenings, but sometimes Saturdays just don't work. So I always try to come on and at least do Sunday. So this is Saturday happenings on Sunday or weekend happenings. Um, and you know on my Saturday happenings, I kind of like to talk about the videos that I did previous week and what's coming up next week. And I am so excited. March is one of my favorite times, but I have to tell you, we have been so busy, and honestly, I will tell you that it wasn't until late yesterday afternoon that I realized it was Saturday. <laughs> That's what happened to me. So for, <laughs> I was sitting there, I was like, oh my gosh, it's Saturday. I kept thinking it was Friday, but we've been busy. I, we have put a bunch of work into a converting that canvas greenhouse into an enclosed kind of chicken coop, and it's turning out so good. And I'll show you in a second. I'll turn the phone or the camera on my phone. And so that you can see where we're at. And the best part was we had wicked bad wind storm last night. Uh, enough that it actually took the power out for an hour or so. Uh, but I was so worried about the canvas. Like I have a, a tarp kind of canvas over the top of it. Didn't bother it at all. So that turned out good. In fact, let me just show if I can. This is out. See, this is the thing I love. This is out my craft room window. Do you see it out there? So that's, hang on, that's what we're putting together is that coop out there. So, and I will, um, a video on it. I did kind of a video starting it out, um, but there's a lot of work. So that would have been a really, really long video. So I'm going to kind of edit it and do little snippets, but it's turning out super good. I'm excited. But now the only challenge I have is because we're going to go to Alaska I don't, I can't get baby chicks right now because if I do, uh, our son is going to be staying at the house. But if I do, I mean, there's really nobody to watch them as they're tiny babies. So I'm going to have to wait until I get home and then try to get chickens from somebody. So we'll worry about that later. But it's turning out so cool. I'm going to do a video of it and show you guys where we're at because I'm excited about it. But that's a thing we worked on. And the reason was because... We've had really bad rain, too. Um, and so, you know, it's kind of hit or miss. Like, if it's sunny, ooh, let's get out there and spend the whole day. And then all the other stuff gets pushed off into the days that we can do uh, that are raining. But I have been working on baby things. Because you know we're going to have a grand niece. I'm super excited about. So I'll show you a couple of those things. But one of my videos last week was actually the car seat cover that I made. Love those things. They stretch over the car seat so people aren't like poking and looking and, you know, touching your baby. Um, so I made one of those. And then I'll tell you what's coming up next week. But for this past week on Monday, I did the coating mix for like chicken, fish, pork chops, basically anything you wanted to coat and bake it works out so good. And the thing is, it's such a nice flavor on its own that you could add seasonings to kind of move it toward a different um, a different flavor profile if you want. You can just add something to make it more maybe Italian or maybe more a Mexican thing or something. So that's cool. And then the next day on Tuesday, pantry cooking for two Tuesday, I did the chicken tenders. Those are actually one of my favorites. I love them. And also, if you get a bulk, I think I said this in the video too, a bulk amount of the chicken and you do the tenders, then you can package them and freeze them. And then you can just pull some out, throw them in your air fryer, and they're good to go. And I like the fact that I make those things in my own kitchen and I know what's in it. That is really cool. And then I did the car seat cover where I made that. And so I'm going to do a couple more videos on making some baby things, which I'll show you something else I made, which is super cute. And then, of course, Make It March. One of my favorite collaborations because it's just cool. It plays off of the uh, Canuary. Lisa over at Sutton's Days does it. Look in the uh, description of this video and it'll be all the participants. It's just cool because, it, you know, one of the main questions, those of us that help people learn how to can and this applies to on my youtube channel but also when i help at the county teaching classes people are always saying so what do i do with it like you some people will only can ingredient canning that's where you have your chicken your vegetable your whatever some other people will can like this the soups and meals in a jar type things 
But they always, like, what do you do with it? Like, do you just open the jar and heat it up? Is that the only thing there is to it? And there's so much. And I think Make It March is super cool because it really kind of pulls out what you can do, recipes you can make with your home canned, home preserved foods. And so when I did this past week on Thursday, Thursdays is my day, I did the cherry pie jello, cherry pie jello parfaits. And I did that because I had cherry pie filling that I had canned that should have been used and wasn't used before it started to separate. And so, uh, and it's unfortunate because a lot of people said, oh my gosh, I had some of that stuff and I threw it out. Blueberry pie filling that had separated threw it out. Or strawberry, and you don't have to do that. USDA guidelines are, if it's canned, and especially in the glass, because glass is great um, and if it's the seal is on there there's no rust it's been sealed it still has a good seal it's okay when canning lid companies say these are good for 18 months it doesn't mean that the food goes bad in 18 months what it is is that they've done studies up to 18 months and the lid is still secure that's that it does not mean that the food expires so if you have stuff that's a year two three I've got stuff that's a lot older than that. As long as the jar is intact, it's been stored properly, it looks fine in the jar, and the lid is on, just like as if you'd have pulled it off the shelf a couple of weeks after you canned it. If it still looks that way a couple of years later, it's fine. So I did the uh, cherry pie filling jello parfait, which was kind of like a out of my head because I found the broken pie shell and thought, oh man, I can't make a pie. I know what I'll make. So I made that and it turned out really good. And I can see using it. There were some great ideas. People said you could do it with graham crackers and apple pie filling. You could do it with lemon jello. Well, the apple pie, you could get even a cranberry jello, maybe a lemon jello with blueberry pie filling. All of the things. Just let your mind imagine. That's how you figure out how to use stuff on your shelf that you're thinking, what can I do with this? So that was fun. And then I did the Mrs. Wages One Step Pickle Mix. Now this is different than the Mrs. Wages Pickling Mix. This is just a little packet of the liquid already done. You just pour it in the jar. The other pickling mix will require a lot more cucumbers and a process. Okay, so just know that if you're going to buy Mrs. Wages. But that was fun. It was a good week. So going into next week, okay, so I have a challenge. I have a challenge for myself, I guess, because I've been doing the Mix It Up Monday for a few months and the Pantry Cooking for Two Tuesday for a few months, for quite a while. And we're going to leave at mid-April to drive, I'm going to do this, from Oregon to Fairbanks through Canada. That is like a 20, I think 2,700 miles, but it's going to be, you know, I love a road trip. So it's going to be fun. But I'm going to have different content at that time because I'm going to be on the road. Um, if I have anything that I've already done and posted during that time frame, I'll tell you. But really, I don't have a lot going into April uh, from that point on. So I have one more Mix It Up Monday and Pantry Cooking for Two. That's on Monday and Tuesday. This week, I'm trying to get one, two... Three, four more Mix It Up Mondays done with the pantry cooking for two Tuesdays so that I can have those all the way up until we leave on our trip and our content changes for a little bit because I just want to do videos on the road and that's the way it's going to be. So I've got to challenge myself to get four of those videos done so that I can um, have you covered for Mondays and Tuesdays until we hit the road. I'm so excited about this trip. It's going to be so much fun. I love a road trip. You can put me in a car and tell me we're driving to Mars. And as long as there's cool things to see on the way and a good radio station or I got my Kindle so that I can read and there's something new to see and experience every day, I'm going. It's just fun. I love it. But next week, video wise, on Monday... I have one that I love. Growing up in the South, we ate, I'm not going to tell you, you got to watch it. But we had this with everything, all the time. It's good with 
beans. It's good with soup. It's good with anything you want. And it's delicious. So I've got that coming up on Monday. And of course, Tuesday, I used it. So you get to see that. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then on the 13th, I'm making the second thing that I'm making for uh, the baby. So I had the car seat cover. And then there's another thing. These are easy. Super easy to make. Um, so I've got that coming up on Wednesday. And I realize there's some people that are just like... They want a can. Some people that just want recipes. Some people that just like crafting. But I like it all. <laughs> so I'm doing it all. So if I if I post something on Wednesdays, it's a crafty thing. That's okay. If you're not a crafty gal, I don't be offended. But, you know, if you don't watch it. But I'd hope you would watch it because they're a lot of fun. So anyway, on Wednesday, I have coming up another crafty thing for the baby, which is cool. And then on Thursday, another pantry cooking for two, or I mean, another make it March. What am I thinking? Make it March. And this one I'm using one of the things that I canned for January. So the next three videos will be using a product that I canned um, in January. So the three things that I made there, you're going to see in make it March because people are like, what do you do with it? So this is what you're going to do with it. So I got that coming up. That's it. Now, Today, I'm making corned beef in the slow cooker. Nothing fancy about that. Just putting it in there and letting it cook. But, you know Doan, love them. She sent me something, and I'm going to do a video later this afternoon showing you that product because it's awesome. And then I got another super cute product um, that I'm going to do a, a review on because I love it. Anyway, so there's that. This is my weekend happenings, I guess. But I want to show you... I have made some of these. These are so cute. Looky look. I made these little shirt. Isn't that the cutest little baby shirt? And these are zero to three months size. And here's a little angel wing top. And those two tops can go with these cute little bloomers. I just love making baby things. And then there's a little bonnet, little hat with a little sun thing. So I made this one for... Uh, the baby will be just a few weeks old uh, in the 4th of July. She, she's due mid-June, so she'll only be about three weeks old. So this will be perfect for the Independence Day celebration, her very first. So that's that, but I do have tons of fabric, lots more things. And I'm also going to make uh, some things that you don't have to have a pattern for. One of the things uh, I'm going to make is, you know, the little square things with the crunchy. They're like a fabric thing, but they crunch, and they have like little lace or little uh, ribbon little loops on the sides. I'm going to make that. You can make that without a pattern. So I'm going to show you that. So there's that. That's me last week and coming up next week. And then I'm already making lists because we're taking Snickers, always making lists of the things we got to take with us on our trip. I'm actually going to not take a lot because the back of our pickup truck is going to have some toolbox stuff that we're taking up to our nephew. Um, but so I'm trying to drill back and I'm smart. I'm taking my sewing machines because I can't be gone that long without them. And then I'm going to use bags with my fabric as packing. <laughs> that way I've got it. That way I don't have to take as much either because I'll make it when I'm there. So there's that. Busy. I hope you guys are having a great weekend. And later on when the weather is better, I will do a tour of our chicken coop. Redo. And honestly, the coolest part of it is every single thing that we've used on our coop has been repurposed from something else. So that's cool. So there's that. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. And as always, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in my next video.